All right, let's now solve ODEs with Dirac deltas. And in particular, let's try to solve y double prime minus 2y prime plus y is Dirac at 5 with zero initial conditions. And you will see this is one of the highlights of the chapter because you can't use any of the other techniques like undetermined coefficients or var of par to solve this. You have to use Laplace transforms. And this has a cool application. So think of this as an electrical circuit or even a mass spring equation, but where at the right-hand side, you're putting a unit voltage or a unit shock at five. So maybe like, a, like electroshock shock at T equals five. And then you can see what will happen to our system. And the picture at the end, I promise, will be very cool. And the cool thing is, there really is nothing new to this. The process is the same. So we still want to take the L. The L. So here we have Laplace transform of Y double prime minus 2. Laplace transform of y prime plus Laplace transform of y is Laplace of Dirac at five. So delta t minus five. Minus five. Okay. And now remember our formulae. So there was the Laplace miracle that says this was s squared L of y minus s y of zero minus y prime of zero and then minus two s l of y minus y of zero and again plus laplace of y plus l of y and again, the only new thing here is the Laplace transform of Dirac at five, but we've done that in the previous video. It just becomes E of minus five S. Okay. So no divided by S. And then the cool thing is, remember all the initial conditions are zero. So this becomes zero, this becomes zero, and this becomes zero. And in the end, what you're left with is s squared minus 2s plus 1 L of y equals E of minus 5s. And again, sanity check. This is just the auxiliary equation. And so L of y equals one over S squared minus two S plus one times E of minus five S. Now, how do you deal with this in this case? Remember, you first look at the same term without exponential functions. So step two, look at one over s squared minus two s plus one. Usually you need to do partial fractions, but not here because it's a perfect square. So s minus one squared. And notice this is a shifted version. Shifted version by one unit. of a more familiar Laplace transform, one over S squared, which is L of T. And so remember, shifts gives you exponential terms. So, and so one over S minus one squared is not L of T, but L of E to the T. 
times t. And that's L of t e to the t. That's one thing. So that was for the term without exponentials. And now let's look at the exponential term itself. So step three. So where were we? L of y was one over s squared minus two s plus one times e of minus five s. But that term, we wrote this as L of t, e to the t, and then e of minus 5s. And remember, if you want to put an exponential term inside, you shift and jump. So that becomes L of t minus 5, e of t minus 5, and then u5 of t. And that is our answer. So our answer is y y of t is t minus 5 e to the t minus 5 u5 of t. So you see, that's all she wrote. It's really the same thing as before. The only new thing is the uh, definition of you know, Laplace transform of the Dirac delta. But as promised, I do want to show you uh, the cool picture that we get. Because of course, something happens at five, because that's when we're pinching. Before five, u five of t is zero. So the solution is zero. And then suddenly at five, it becomes exponential. It just becomes t minus five e to the t minus five, which looks like that. So this is our solution, zero before and then t minus 5, e of t minus 5 after that. And in particular, notice the solution is becoming alive at t equals 5. It's like a zombie that was sleeping before. And then at 5, we pinch this zombie using Dirac delta. And suddenly, rah, you know, all havoc was wreaked, which is really cool. That's again, uh, that's the coolness of the Laplace transfer of Dirac Delta, really.